Once you've started a new drawing file, one of the first steps is to insert the first view from the model, known as the base view, because all of your other projected views will be based on it. When I select the icon, a dialog box appears. On the component tab, Inventor wants me to select the 3D model we're creating the drawing for. The drop-down contains a list of Inventor files that I currently have open in other windows. I can choose one of these, or I can browse for a different file on my hard drive or network location. Next, take a look over at the orientation window. This is where you can specify the orientation of the 3D model you want for the base view. Here's a tip. To see a preview, just move your cursor anywhere out to the drawing sheet and you can see the orientation you have selected. The orientation options match the view cube of the original part file that is selected. Having control of the base view here is nice, just in case I want the front view of the drawing to look like the right view orientation of the part. For now, I'll choose front. In the area below, I can choose how I want the view to appear on the drawing such as hidden lines, hidden lines removed, or shaded. I can also adjust the view identifier and scale, but we'll come back to these a bit later. We'll also talk about these additional tabs in upcoming lessons as well. But before I click OK, notice this checkbox. If I hover my pointer over it for a moment, it says Inventor will create projected views directly after the base view is created. To exit out of the dialog box, I can either click OK here, or just click anywhere on the drawing sheet. When I do, the base view is added, and I'm automatically placed in the projected view command. This is a nice time saver, because I can simply move my cursor in the direction of the view I want projected, and Inventor creates it automatically, including the isometric view. I can continue projecting as many views as I want. To finish the command, right-click anywhere on the sheet and press Create.